Hello YouTube, it's RubikZord05, and I'm bringing you the final Tokyuja video for a good long time. This is the Russia Sentai Tokyuja, the movie, Galaxy Line SOS Safari Gao. Or Safari Gatai, or however you say it, I don't know. Well, first off, we have the Lion Russia. Which these are not all five of these are known as the Safari Russia. We got the lion, pretty very nicely detailed. I, this one is very nice. I like the gold; really makes it stand out. Then after that, we have the, this is an eagle, which some people will see an eagle, some won't. I didn't at first. Very nice Russia as well. Then we had a switch. This is kind of weird. The yellow Russia got a wildcat. Some people call it a cat, some people call it a wildcat. All depends. But as you can see, this, like the front pane of glass, is actually the pink Russias from Tokyo. So not only did like the Russia itself switch, the person who owned the Russia switched. Like the uh, number three Russia, the yellow, not number three. The yellow ranger, who has the third Russia, is always the left arm of if, if you're looking at Tokyo, like the left, like, this is my left hand, if you're looking at it. But, it switched, and the wildcat Russia is on the right. Which it also did switch for the pink uh, ranger's Russia, but that's not right now. This is the alligator Russia, which is the green Russia, yes, green kind of obvious. I do think it looks like an alligator. Got the teeth. Then the pink Russia, which even though this is actually the Russia for the yellow, this is the panda. No cute panda. Not really much to it. Just paint of the glass on the front. Okay, now I'm gonna look at the box too. Forgot to do that. This box I think is amazing. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My camera died. I do believe I was at the part where I was showing you the box. Um, I do like the front. It's very spacey. It looks very cool. We have the side with all the trains. And the back showing the whole line itself. And the Megazord in the lion mode. Same thing on this side. Okay, back that box up. Almost knock over the build box. Okay, first we're gonna take the lines, Russia, connect it. And if you notice, in Tokyo, the sword was facing this way, but it has to face forward due to this big backpack of stuff it has to hold. Here, then we're gonna take the eagle. Same as the blue. Alligator. Same as the green. The wildcat, which is for the yellow Tokyo, is the same as the pink Tokyo Russia. And here's the pink uh, panda, which actually is on the wrong hand. I don't know why they did that. Very interesting. But, you know, whatever. It happened. Okay, now we're going to combine this into the lion mode. First, we're going to remove the tail and the backpack of, inf of stuff. Which, just for purpose, I'm going to take the backpack apart, claws pull right off, and this mane pushes right out. Okay, we're going to start off the combination like we did for Tokyo. Just lock in the joints on the side. There we go. Now for this, you do have to remove all the Russia. So, just pull, pull them off. There we go. Now, we're gonna turn these heads around and flip them like, like we would for the Megazord. Sorry if you heard that. Up, my mom's cooking upstairs. And also fold the lion, like, where the head will go, 
fold that down. Then we're going to take these Resha, pull out their joint, and put in their hands, or put the claws into their hand, which they don't really, they rotate all the way around, so to make it stay, you just wait until you place it on the ground. See? They do stand by themselves, which is pretty cool. Do the same for the other hand. Wow. Then you're going to take this big fat part of the backpack and plug it in. So it's like this. Take the Resha and put them on there. Fold them down on the neat side. And plug the Resha or the Panda and the Wildcat into their respective hands. And then look, we actually have a standing lion so far. And we're going to take the tail, open it, it plugs in right here, like that. Depends how you want to display it. This is how it's officially in the, like on the box, you can see the tails right sticking out. Next, for the train, we fold, or for the lion, which is the main train, fold it down. And right here we have the tab, and the main does plug into this tab. Boom. And just hooks up like that. This is the lion version of the Safari Gatai. I think that's what it's called. Not really sure on the name. 100% sure. It's not on the box like it is for all the other ones. Or at least that I can read. The other ones, like it says, build die or on their given boxes. Okay, now we're going to put this in the Megazord mode. Well, first let me say, I do like this mode. Very nice with the details. It's very nice, colorful. But, uh, the Megazord mode, not so much, which we'll see in a minute. Okay, let's start by taking off the legs. Popping both legs off. Pulling the tail. Legs we can put back on to where they should be. Spread them. The hands rotate. Claws go down all the way. And let me move the camera up. Oh. We completely pull the lion head off. And then attach it back into the inappropriate part of the Red Russia and the Slyon Russia. And fold up. Boom. And the head, same as it is in Tokyo, flips around. Look at that. That is a beautiful head. But because uh, most of these Megazords, we can store everything somewhere on it, the backpack goes up here. And the sword also goes in the same place it does as Tokyo. So there is the Safari Gatai in the uh, Megazord mode. This I am not a fan of at all. Look how bland it is, just white. We have the little bit of the arms and the feet. Everything else is white. I wish there would have been more detail on the top of the Zord itself, like the top of the trains up here, like color wise. From the side, looks nice, but from the front, just kind of white and bleh. Like even, uh, I wish they would have painted these two trains to match their feet. It would have just added enough detail instead of just we have these side colors, which, you know, don't do much. But this is the Safari Gatai. Um, this is also the last video for Tokyo, probably for a long time. If you noticed, I don't have Te uh, the DX Teo, which is the Hyper Russia, and I also don't have the Shield, Build, or no, 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 the Shield, the Drill, the Scope, and the Energy Russia. Those four are from playsets, and the um, Hyper Russia is just an expensive toy to begin with. It's probably as, like as expensive as the Build and the Diesel Russia combined. So. Not really in the price range right now, because it's after Christmas, you know. Okay, I'm rambling, whatever. 
Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this part of the Tokyo line. Thanks for watching.